Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, Eagles, to another edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel and also now on the backup YouTube channel. I will provide <coughs> the backup channel's uh, direct link in the description box of this video just in case my main channel goes down. I'm now on strike number two yet again. I think this is like the third time over the past uh, calendar year. So I had to privatize uh, nearly all of my videos with exception to <clears throat> the promotional pieces that we do here. And again, welcome all those new uh, who have recently signed up to tradcatnight.org as you are finding out uh, that it's more than worth it uh, to be a part of the group. Again, this is the only website you're going to need going forward if you deem yourself uh, a Catholic, if you deem yourself a Christian, because I'm going to be putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. We expose uh, the apostasy in the Catholic Church, which has been long forewarned about uh, before the Second Vatican Council, but then also uh, what's happening as it relates to the New World Order endgame. And I had another great podcast with Dr. Hanowski, uh, an hour-long extended podcast. We'll get into some of the details uh, with that. But I did want to remind everyone, you know, listen, it just wasn't Fatima. The, there were other messages that were approved by the church, which has come out, which is very similar after the fact of Fatima, uh, one of which, of course, was the Kita, which uh, some of you traditionalists, uh, you Catholics, uh, have also heard about. But uh, a message or messages given to four children in <coughs> uh, Germany, Hida, Germany. Uh, that's spelled H-E-E-D-E. -E and it's a very strong message. And the opening lines from our Lord in uh, 1945, again, this is approved uh, by the local bishop of the church. He says, uh, humanity has not heeded my blessed mother who appeared at Fatima to exhort everyone to penitence. To penitence. I've come in this last hour to admonish the world. The times are grave. Men should do penance for their sins. I am near. Keep in mind, that's 1945, folks. The world's gotten a little bit worse since then. The earth will tremble and suffer. It will be terrific. A minor judgment. In more indirect uh, proof of the passing of Planet X here soon. For those who are not in a state of grace, it will be frightful. The angels of my justice are now scattered across the world. Men do not listen to my calls. They resist my graces. They refuse my mercy, my love, and my merits. They will agonize in the blindness of their faults. Hatred and greed fills the hearts of men. This is all the work of Satan. The world sleeps in a dense darkness. This generation deserves to be annihilated, but I desire to show myself as merciful. For right now, great things and terrible things are being prepared. That which is about to happen will be terrible. Nothing like has ever been seen since the beginning of the world. And hell will believe that the victory is theirs, but I will seize it from them. Many blaspheme me because of this. I shall allow all kinds of misfortunes to reign upon the earth. Through this, many will be saved. Blessed are those who suffer everything in reparation for those who offend me. My beloved children, I repeat, the hour is near. Pray incessantly and you will not be confounded. Again, I cover Catholic prophecy more than any other uh, quote-unquote Catholic website that's out there. We incorporate that into my uh, daily work here. I have ongoing podcasts. Uh, with Isabel Chisibura, who's the granddaughter of the granddaughter Marquis, the original biographer of Marie Julie Jehenny, uh, who so eloquently talked about uh, the coming three days of darkness. We just finished that podcast five days ago on the feast day of Fatima. You're not going to want to miss that talk. It was another almost three hour talk, and the details are again are just they send shivers uh, down your spine because you see all this stuff happening now, specifically uh, in France, uh, but much more awaits the world as you know it. Now, today's podcast with Dr. Peter Hanowski is entitled Diabolical Disorientation or Diabolical Deceit. 
So Peter does a great job over there at RadTrad Thomas. Also, SisterLucyImposter.org is his other website. Uh, we got the latest news from the Sister Lucy, uh, Lucy Project. Uh, he, he went into how uh, there's now going to be some ongoing DNA uh, evidence. He, he's going to try to go down that path of, of getting and gathering DNA evidence to prove on that level how we have a fake Sister Lucy uh, that's been put onto the scene, so to speak, after 1958. Uh, we talked about St. Thomas on the virtue of faith, and does our good friend Francis, who calls himself the Pope, have it? We talked about growing divisions in the church and the world, such as we've never seen before. Again, another proof why the Antichrist is close. We talked about how the false trads only place blame in Francis. They don't want to deal with Vatican II or any of the other conciliar pontiffs. We go into that extensively. We talk about the terminology used, diabolical disorientation, which was used by the fake Sister Lucy, and the reality of our times, which is diabolical deceit and or collusion. We talked about, in general, how we need to get back to the basics, including the uh, message of Fatima, repentance, uh, offering ourselves up as victims. We talked about various Catholic prophecies which support this apostasy. We cover the socialist erroneous notion of common good, which you keep hearing coming out of the mouth of socialist Francis. Latest geopolitically. Yes, we get uh, we go down that road as well, that rabbit hole. We talk about the prospects of war with Iran soon, whether false flags will be happening in the Middle East here in the United States. We talked in general about Francis's latest heresies, furthermore on Masonic ecumenism. Uh, we, try, we unmask this argument by the false traditionals, which suggests that we should work from within the conciliar church. We go into detail as to why that doesn't flow in accordance with Catholic principles. Uh, I put forth a prospect that uh, Dr. Hanowski got work on a new fake Sister Lucy documentary with Paul Stark, the man behind Vatican Deception. Find out what he has to say about those comments. False signs and wonders of our times. We recently had another one in Argentina. We go into a five little, five minute little segment on that. Uh, get Dr. Ranowski's take on that. We talk about the conciliarist heresy, which is so common in trad land, whether it's Rorarte, whether it's Remnant, whether it's Catholic Family News. They're now all into heresy because they do not hold proper teaching. Again, I'm speaking in a more loose sense, uh, more specifically certain writers. Um, you know, not everyone who peruses their pages necessarily hold to the conciliar heresy which is so which has really been promulgated and put onto the scene by uh john sauls and robert cisco in any case folks uh again just glad to see so many new people signing up uh 25 to 50 posts daily on trad cat night so you're getting all that information it reads like a newspaper uh, there's a calendar of events along the right hand side to where and you can see who's going to be coming on the podcast i've got numerous resource pages up top uh, for you Catholics, uh, in terms of where to find Mass, you know, Divine Office, Holy Hour, uh, you know, and all the resource pages I have. I have specific podcast pages on the Antichrist, specific podcast pages on the False Prophet, Yeshua Ben Joseph. Uh, you'll have access to my podcast archive dating back to 2015. Uh, I don't even have, I probably, probably have thousands of podcasts at this point. I'm doing two to three a day now at current times. You're not going to want to miss out on any of these podcasts, folks. Again, it's going to help tie all the loose ends together so it paints a very vibrant picture of the times that we live in. The website's highly interactive. Message board, chat room. Again, my own articles and analysis are only seen there. Also, uh, my writings and poems from the Fortress of the Soul. Uh, which have not yet been seen by the public. Uh, they are also hidden behind the paywall. I've been un unveiling some of those over the past year as well. You can write your own articles and commentaries. I will publish them for publication. We try to have more of a community feel behind everything. And again, folks with the church going underground, this is the only website you're going to need for the tribulation. It's $10 a month. Uh, it's only going to run around 30-something cents a, a day. That works out to be less than a half a cup of coffee uh less than your local newspaper um you can cancel at any time there's no long-term commitments uh, up front or, or whatnot you could go month to month 
Uh, I got a great guest lineup uh, coming next week. Patrick Wood from Technocracy.News, one of the original preppers, Joel Skousen on the 20th. 21st, I've got Kent Lewis. We'll be unmasking the New World Order. 22nd, I've got Charlie Robinson and Dr. Kevin Bryant. 23rd, uh, James Perloff and John Kitson, 5G expert. 24th, Father Voigt for you traditional Catholics out there. 25th, Paul Stark from the Vatican Deception joins me again. I've got a new guest on the 25th, Sal the Agorist. Very popular meme writer on Twitter. <laughs> Some of them are absolutely hilarious as he has been unmasking the left and the right. Um, we're going to get him on the podcast uh, for the first time. Uh, so much happening here. Check the description box right now for, uh, well, not only to get access to the backup YouTube channel, because I'll leave the direct link there in the description box of this video, but then also access to the website. It, it's that green hyperlink underneath access to the website. Click that. Stripe is the payment process, or you go ahead and fill in that information. It's faster, safer, easier than PayPal. I've been using it for many years now. No issues uh, whatsoever. So it's safe. It's secure. And again, come join our community. Get caught up to date on all of my older podcasts, all of the current podcasts, all of the current analysis. A lot happening here at tradcatnight.org. Until next time, my good friends, stay safe and God bless.